Okay, so I had a really cool idea for a video. So basically, everyone knows there's money in the game. Everyone loves money. They'll do anything for it. But I had an idea. What if I made 10,000 coins in the very first day of the game? I'm not even kidding, by the way. I mean it. Uh, it sounds impossible, which it is hard, but it is definitely doable. Um, so basically, of course, the objective here, there's two ground rules I'm going to give myself. Rule number one, of course, is I have to make 10,000 coins in the first in-game day, which is not the tutorial. That does not count as the first day because the game considers the first day as in, well, your first day of freedom, I guess. And the second rule is I will not be using the leaderboards at all. So that's off limits because that's too cheesy. That's too easy. I want a challenge. And I will be using glitches. Glitches are fully allowed. And this does revolve around the port a lot because it makes you a lot of money. And yeah, I just want to talk about that in the intro and let's just get started. Of course, I started my first day as any Sasquatch would. I just decided to run around the parks completely naked. Um, that's probably a crime. So, uh, but we won't worry about that. So anyway, I make it to the telephone and I collect some money and I decide to call the money hotline six times because that will give me 600 coins and these will play an important role because even though 600 is not even close to 10,000, it will be very important here in a minute. With my newly found money, I decide to go back in the park a little bit and I get caught by the ranger on purpose because that will help me get home a little bit faster. And then what I do is I go to a raccoon shop and I buy a various set of items. I buy the shovel, the camper outfit, I buy a map, stuff of that nature. It will be very helpful later, especially like the shovel and the map. With my new inventory of items, I have another destination to go to. So I go steal a car from the ranger area and then I go to a new destination. Now, I'm gonna let you guess on this one. Did I A, go to a bank to rob it to make money even though it's not featured in the game yet, but ignore that. Option B, I go to the port and rob it. C, I go to supermarket and steal and sell the food. Or D, I go to the police station and turn myself in because this challenge is too hard and I give up. Well, the answer is none of these, actually. You're an idiot if you answered this. And the answer is I go to the arcade, of all places, because that makes sense. Anyways, I did this for a good reason, because at the arcade, if I beat all three arcade games, which I did do that, I can earn 3,500 just from the secret cash crate alone. Now, there's more stuff to do, because I can actually buy the virtual goggles, which can be used to sell my tickets to Virtual Boy, which can make me plenty of money. So, it is pretty profitable. So I had some spare time on my hands. So what I decided to do was I stopped by the port, not to rob it, not yet, but I wanted to go in the sewer area with, while sneaking past the guards, of course. And I got myself a code and I unlocked the port thing because I'll need it for later. So I just wanted to mention that. The next section of this video actually involves a glitch. Now, normally, as, as most of you may know, the secure three area is not accessible until chapter four of the game with the mayor and everything. However, there is a glitch I found a little while ago, actually, that allows you to get in on the first day easily. Um, basically, what you need is you need a vehicle of any kind. I picked a sports bike because it's fast. You will need a fast vehicle for this, by the way. And then you go in the port and when the guy kind of warns you about like, hey, don't don't go in here and he gives you five seconds during that five seconds, you want to position your vehicle in a certain way and you want to like go in front of the vehicle like what I'm, in, what I'm doing on screen and what happens is that when the guards push you there's a chance that you can phase through it like that it's really op however the guards will take a little while to call off the search because you can't actually access the area until the the guys lose you so but it's still really op because i can get plenty of money by going to secure three so just a cool glitch i want to mention all right so now that i'm in there's some things i have to do first of all as you may know it's very really dark because I do not have the night vision outfit, which normally that's essential, but you don't necessarily need it. However, it does help a lot, but you don't need it. But I had to scavenge around while barely seeing anything. I kind of regret not getting the flashlight, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, what I did was I stuck around the cameras, which was hard. I had to stare at the light and it was really hard because again, I couldn't see anything. I didn't have anything to look at the cameras or anything like that. But I still managed to pull through, I snuck through it, and I went to the camera system. I moved two cameras because if I didn't move them, then they'd catch me. The first thing I need to do was I went to my forklift and I grabbed that. And I also um, grabbed the gold bar from my locker. And then I went to the pancake thing, I moved it, and I got two gold bars, which is are each worth 1,000 coins. And yeah, just 2,000 free coins right off the bat. With my said loot, I got 2,000 coins and I was still in secure three. 
So what I did next was I went, I took a right and I escaped secure three. And what I did from there is I ran all the way to secure one, made sure it was nighttime so I didn't get kicked out or anything like that. And then I just climbed up. So now that I'm in a better spot, I had to make sure not get caught by the guard and I opened the gate and then I went inside a forklift. It's not very fast because it's not my forklift, but it still gets the job done. So anyway, I drive down and I go in the door and I barely don't get caught by the cameras, of course, because every time I guess it's like that. And then what I did is I looked through the port and I did have two crates and I got a burger and something else, beef jerky. So what I did is I opened the gate again and I went the forklift and I stole some items. With my new stolen goods, what I did was I did the typical stuff when you rob the port. I distract the guard and then I snuck into the little gate thing. I opened the gate and then once that was done, I escaped the port and I got really good RNG because not only did I get the crates I needed, but I also got good RNG with the guards because they didn't spawn right next to me. So overall, I was really lucky here. Anyways, now that I've escaped, this is pretty good so far. So I actually got really close to falling asleep on accident, but luckily I did prepare some energy drinks previously. So I drank two energy drinks and I just kept driving. On my way back home, actually, there was a good Samaritan who actually pushed me. He was yelling at me a lot, but I'm pretty sure he had a good heart. So that's always nice. I went back to the workshop and I collected my loot and then I realized that I got kind of unlucky with the drops because I only got 40 of them, which if you don't know, that's only worth 2000 coins. So I was extremely close to beating this, but I wasn't quite there yet. So I panicked because I was like 100 coins or something off. So I just frantically grabbed food and I tried just selling it and just digging holes. And I might as well dug my own grave at that point, but I did barely, and I mean barely manage to get to 10,000, like exactly 10,000 at the very end with only a few in-game minutes to spare. So that's just crazy. But yeah, there you go. That's my story of how I made 10,000 coins in the very first day of the game. Now, this was very hard. I'm so, I don't know how I managed to beat this on my first try pretty much. Well, not my first try, but it was, it was one of my first tries. But yeah, that's pretty much my story, like I said. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like and sub because this video took me very long to make. Um, just editing alone and um, if you have any ideas in the comments make sure you let me know I love these challenges they're really fun I've done plenty of these in the past and uh, there's more glitches I've done I really want to do more of those and um, yeah uh, see you later